no internet. Um, my name's Jomis Nathan. It's my uh, first ever YouTube video. So, uh, don't be too harsh in the comments below, but if you are watching us and you want to see content like this, you want to see more of this car, you want to see a build on it, then hit subscribe, like, and hit the bell. So, yeah, this is our. 2014 Ford Fiesta ST 180 that's completely standard apart from the fact as some of you might tell it is lowered mountain e-back lowering springs uh, yeah I mean I can take you through it but there's not really not much to take through it is completely standard I mean the exhaust is standard um, the air filter there's no induction kit on it it is literally just lowered and it's got it really will be technical it's got wind defenders on happy things <laughs> yeah, so I suppose we'll cut now, go for a quick drive, and have me yabbering on. I'll go from there. Cool. Very windy and very miserable day, so uh, I apologise for the quality on the audio. And how stressy I look. I look like a lumberjack. I'm not. I do look like one. But yeah, like I said before, this is our ST180. Um, it is completely standard, but it drives well. No, it is still fun to drive. Sorry if you can't see me tiny. But uh, it drives well. It's all right, it's not bad. For standard as well, it sounds good. I mean, I'm quite happy with it, but it's not gonna stay this way. Um, I do have some plans. I mean, like I said earlier, if you do wanna see the progression of this car and how it turns out, then hit subscribe. Hit like, leave a comment, they'll help us out, you know? No, you can't speak as well, mate. Yeah. You do know, yeah. Nathan's here as well. <laughs> so I couldn't leave him in the pissing down rain because that would just be cruel of me, innit? What sort of brother would I be if I left my brother in the rain? But also, see, I'm glad. This is why I didn't leave him in the side of the road. Also, we are on Instagram. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want to give that a follow as well, that'd be uh, greatly appreciated. Thanks. Right, now going back to this car. This is a completely standard Ford Fiesta S280. All right, yes, it has got the mountain spring, so it does handle better. Not that I've taken taken it for a good old thrashing to understand how it handles with this mountain loading kit. I mean, yeah, right, it's not like super agile, but it's a snappy, and it just it sends you in the direction you want to go, which I mean is the case of what you want to do anyway. So cool. I paid six nine 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 for this car, which for me was a bargain. I mean, a lot of them now with garages that range from anywhere from nine to twelve grand because they're still holding their value. I mean, this is seven year old car now. Other Fiestas of this year will still hold their price. It is absolutely astounding. I mean, not so much this pack. This is the ST2, so it didn't come with a sat nav. Um, but it has got the heated seats and it's got the, the Sony sound system. It's enough for me. I mean, I, I've been in ones with the ST2 and it's more than enough for me. I'm happy with them. But if you have got the 9 to 12 grand going spare and you want to chuck in an ST3, then you get your nav, you get your full leathers, all other other gubbins. So, but I mean, if that's more for you when you're going to afford to do it, then so yeah. If you are in the market for one of these, whoa, big puddle. Whoa, big, big puddle. The insurance group on these is, last I checked, I might be wrong, is group 30 to group 31. Depending on the pack you get, whether it be S, T1, 2, or 3, and if it's a three door or a five door. For example, for this now, this is a three door ST2 with the uh, mods declared such as the lowering springs the wind deflectors and the bonnet strut um, i have nine years no claims insurance and i pay about 400 odd quid a year it is a bit more because i've opted to pay for monthly installments so it's about 40 odd pound 45 46 pound a month which works out as about 500 odd but i mean if i didn't do the installments it was about 400 odd to me, that's pretty good. The insurance I'm with is Greenlight, who are awesome. Um, I didn't bother going to any other insurers, I went straight to them. They're like a, a broker, so they're not actually 
you know, they're actually short by green light, they're kind of like an umbrella, and they have like different insurance companies under their belt. But well, the one they found me was spot on. But if I do any modifications to this, the premium will not change at all. So, big bonus. So, something to think about. So, yeah, that's the insurance. For a while, I was doing 32 miles per gallon. I've only done this car a couple of weeks, so I was doing 32 miles per gallon. I was behaving it, right? Now I've given it a bit of a drive, and I'm on 29.4 right now. It's not bad. Earlier, I was on 30. I have had the car sat idle for a bit, so this is why the mouse began has dropped. But of course, if you do work to it, and you map it, and you get in stages, then the mouse began will get better. I've had people say to me they reckon they're getting 40, 50 miles per gallon out of these on a stage 3 map on a run. Obviously, when you load the round town, it's not going to be that, so keep that in mind. So yeah, but the mouse began, I mean, at the end day, that's probably out the back of your mind, you're not really buying one of these for miles per gallon. If you're going to buy a car for miles per gallon, buy a diesel. And that's all I'd say on that. Yeah, road tax, 155 a year. Another thing I would add when looking at these cars, from the early models, when they first done these cars, this included, from 2013 to I think 2015, they did have a cylinder head issue where it would crack and the engine would overheat. Um, a lot of them have been done on recall, but it is worth, you know, checking it out. Uh, right, but for example, now going on to what uh, I was just talking about now with the cylinder heads. If you follow Spark Plug Steve, that's exactly what happened to his. His rings blew up when he was on track in Castlecombe, was it? Was it Castlecombe? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely worth having a look at that. Sheep, see the sheep? That's so you know you're in Wales, boy. I think I know it. We're going to end up there now. Uh, if you have stuck around till now, and you've watched right towards the end of the video, then thank you so much. Hopefully, weather permitting, because, I mean, look at this. Look at this god-awful weather we have in Wales. But nothing we can do with that. We just work with what we got. Hopefully, the weather will get a bit better and we can focus on cleaning the car, doing some work to it, and giving you a proper show round, because I feel like, because of the weather, the way it is, uh, it's kind of a shit first video, but it is what it is. Don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell, like and leave a comment, and also don't forget to visit our Instagram, check that out, follow us for more on there. And yeah, we've been Smiles Per Hour, See you in the next one. Cheers, thank you, and good night.